Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Tobias bringing, new, bringing you a new uh, pauper brewing deck deck match video. Uh, I'm still trying to find a way to make Thrumming Bird useful, but I abandoned the steady progress. I think the card is just too bad. And um, my newest idea is to do some kind of Arcbound affinity. I run eight Arcbound creatures and Frogmite, so that's my affinity squad. I run Aatox and Fling to make use of my many uh, lands. Oh, don't want the Rugtile lands. These are Vault of Whispers because I just added Chromatic Spheres instead of. Um, of sword cast because uh, I want mana fixing because um, I want to be able to cast Thrumming Bird as soon as possible, but I don't want to have tapped lands. So this is sort of the uh, compromise. Um, to uh, I still draw a card, not two cards, but I fix my mana so I can play 18 untapped lands and um, one card is interesting it's hunger of the howl pack i did a mesh up of proliferate blue and um, stompy it didn't work because of the mana base i didn't show you the video um, but hunger of the howl pack is a nice card to put counters on swimming bird so i'm running two hunger of the howl packs here and i'm running four galvanic blast and that sums up the main deck um, Sideboard. Sideboard is untested. I run Krak Clan Shaman against Elves and Tokens and whatnot. I run Pyroblasts uh, against Blue Decks. I run Ancient Grudge for the Mirror Match and against Tron. I run Relic of Progenitus to empty the graveyard. I run one Wines of Vastwood and I run Stone Rains. Um, so that is the first. Um, the first sketch of this deck. I hope it can do something and I'll be back in a second with the match. So this is the match. Uh, I haven't played the deck yet. So this is the very first time I'm playing it. And mm, this looks like a slow but keepable start, I guess. So I'm keeping it. And my opponent mulligans down to five cards at least. That's good for me. Bad for him and he's on the play. So I will go Seed of the Steinert Chromatic Sphere here. Probably followed up by Arcbound Stinger and Frogmites. Okay, Chromatic Sphere. And some Frogmites next turn. Should be good. Should be good, should be real good. He could be Burn, he could be Goblins, he is Delver Fiend. Okay, Delver Fiend being problematic, I guess. Um, let's kill it. As long as we have the chance. What did I draw? Another seat of the Synod. So this is now two mana again. Yeah, but this was just too dangerous. It had to go. But it slows me down a lot. But he's got only three cards left. And if he doesn't have another creature, I'm looking okay here. Now he's got four cards and he's got no blue menaces yet. So everything nice. He cycles the Forgotten Cave. Okay. Satyr Hoplite. Okay. So he's the mono red version, I guess. And he should be out of cards momentarily. And I, on the other hand. Oh, I'm finding a great furnace. That is nice. I, on the other hand should have a decent blocker here in Arcbound Stinger because of the modular ability this should be good 
my frogmite, then it's a 3-3, three, three, but I also can block with frogmites. Just depending on what he does. I would really like to draw a strumming bird here. And he's still got three cards. So I guess his satire hoplite can grow to uh, some size here. It can block, okay. Three lands, so he is definitely flooded. Don't think that he needs more than two lands. And he had the Forgotten Cave as well. And cycles another Forgotten Cave, okay. So, more mana than he wants. And I guess I'm Crimson Wisps. Okay. Well, I'm still blocking. I'm not afraid of a 3-3. Three, three. Should he play another tur uh, another spell? Panic. Okay. So who cannot block? Um, can't block. He himself can't block. Okay. So that was strange. Did he target the wrong creature here? Oh, I'm drawing mana, that's not good. Should have played the blue mana here, but never mind. I'm going in with the stinger. And it's time to draw another Galvanic Blast here, or an Atok. And he's quite flooded for his deck. Now we are seeing attackers. Um, I guess he will have at least one pump spell. So let's say I throw the Arcbound Stinger under the bus here to make my Frogmite bigger. Yeah, why not? Another Kiln Fiend, okay. A plot sickens. And I find another beautiful land. Okay, he is flooded, I am flooded, I am even more flooded than he is. Great, isn't it? I guess I'm attacking with the Frogmite here and I keep Arcbound Stinger as a blocker. For the Kill and Fiend. Or the Satire Hoplite. I don't know how much damage he can do with just three cards. But an Assault Strobe on the Kill and Fiend, double strike. Uh, and I'm as good as dead, right? Uh, brute Force, Assault Strobe, and I'm in deep, deep trouble. So let's be cautious and block a lot. Dragon Mantle. Now we can pump it. And his board presence is far better than mine. I will block. Panic, okay. Yeah. Great, so my frogman can't block. But my stinger can. And because of proliferating purposes, I'm putting the counter on the frogmite here.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this block is correct. Uh, yeah, why not? Might have been better to have a 4-4, I don't know. Now I have a 2-3-3 three, three frogmites. Okay. If I continue to draw land, then there is not much I can do here. Then just just die. Um, he's got three cards. I bet. Uh, well, he used two panics already. How many panics can he have? I'm I'm on blocking duty now. I can come back in the game if I draw an Atok. Or a thrumming bird. And he's pretty confident, so I'm expecting something like the gives first strike and trample card. I uh, forgot the name. At least he's got a pump spell. I'm pretty sure of it. Mutagenic Rose, yeah, of course. It still does not trample. Another one, okay. This hurts. Why didn't he pump it? Matering bully. Nice one. Okay, I've got an arc bound worker. Ah, great. I am so dead here. He's got only one card left, but. I'm down to nine life. Matering bully, okay. Comes again with everything. So I practically have to block like this. Otherwise I'm dead. And I'm pretty sure I'm dead anyway. Yeah, another mutagenic growth, so. His deck works, mine doesn't. Uh, is there hope? This thing alone is killing me. No, there is no hope, no matter what I draw. Well, let's begin sideboarding. And I will need Krug clan shamans that's for sure i am not so sure if i want the flings here and what else can i cut one card to cut um Guess I cut a flare husk. I'm not happy with this. And I'm going to play first, of course. Yes, I would like to play first. So um okay got a galvanic blast for the first um uh, kiln fiend got bound worker and flare husk that is okay i guess i will lead with the flare husk here and let's see what happens Satire Hoplite, okay. Hmm. Chromatic Sphere. Do I kill this Satire Hoplite? I think I do. I don't attack here.
I'm so stupid. I could have played the frog mod. Ah, that was bad. Not seeing any attackers. So I could um, kill the majoring bully, but I won't. Just playing Frogmite here. And an outbound worker. And I'm keeping red mana up. Waiting for the Croc Clown Shaman. Three mana is a lot. Three cards is sufficient. Stagger shock. Stagger shocking my frog mind. Okay. I can live with that. Um I guess I gun it down now. Uh, cancel. This one. Do I still have Metalcraft? Yes, I have. Okay, I find me another Frogmite. That is good, at least. Now I can send the team. You can, of course, mutagenic growth here, but what would that achieve? Worker. Spring leaf drum. Mm, do I want the panic spell bomb here? No. Better to have a blocker up and he will kill my frogmite here. But that's okay. Yeah, yeah Stagger Shock. Pretty good. Pretty good card. Crimson Wisps. Okay. And the kill fiend. Oh my god. Crackland Shaman, now I need you. He's got zero cards. I won't block. I need the Crackland Shaman. I find <sighs> Panic Spell Bomb. Okay. So you cannot block and you add me red mana to draw me a card strumming bird. Uh, interesting but not good enough. Do I kill the germ? Do I want to equip Flayer Husk on the Arcbound Worker? Guess I do. To have a blocker for the Kiln Fiend. But it looks grim. I definitely am blocking only the Kiln Fiend here. which he will pump. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Yes, please. Dark Steel Citadel is not good. I guess I have to play my thrumming bird here. But I don't like it. And then I don't block and take at least four damage, maybe more. I'm playing mana conservative here and I'm equipping the arc bound worker. So next turn I will have a 4-4 blocker if I survive. Maybe he drew a land. Maybe he didn't. He drew a land. Or a creature. Creature. Great. Panic spell bomb. Hmm. Hmm. Better to proliferate, I think. And have a decent blocker here. Yet I'm still playing the panic spell bomb. Maybe I should have bluffed, I don't know. Now at least I have a 4 4 blocker that can block a kill and fiend with mutagenic growth and he's thinking thinking long that's good and one crack land shaman in this game is over because my arc bound worker is big enough to survive and my strumming bird is unaffected and I will wipe his board it's the only card I need to draw here. Another Arcbound creature would be fine too. Infectious Bloodlust. Okay. Okay. So this thing kills my Arcbound worker. Oh, oh, okay. In that case, I'm blocking the Kiln Fiend. Down to four. Great. <laughs> Seed of the Cyanide. Yeah. Done. Okay, he's a 5-5 five five now. I've down, I'm down to 4 life, so if he can target the Akron Crusader, I should be dead. And he's thinking too long, he cannot target it. Maybe he's got another creature. But definitely not something that can target, I'm pretty sure. Because I got zero cards in hand. Dragon Mantle. Okay, so he had something to target. Just took him some time to figure it out. Okay. That is four damage. I doubt that I can survive four damage. Everyone, right. Okay. Block you. Then uh, you cannot block. Let's see what I draw. Another land. Come on, I'm playing 18 lands. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a first impression of this deck. I think this deck can do more. I will um, will show you more of this deck and thank you for watching so far.